Hello everyone, I need to make a quick addendum to my first video. There was something I forgot to cover about error checking, and that's if the game doesn't crash, but instead shows you something like this. I feel this is pretty self-explanatory, but just in case anyone doesn't understand, let me go over this real quick. Here it says mod computercraft requires forge 35.0.1 or above and below 36. Currently Forge is 35.0.0. What this means is that the version of Forge mod loader you currently have installed is not compatible with one of the mods you have installed, so you need to either upgrade it or downgrade it. Close the game and go to your MultiMC window and edit instance. Go to version, click on Forge, and click change version. The game said we need Forge 35.0.1 or above, which means this version or higher. It also said we need to be below version 36, but version 36 is not available for this version of Minecraft, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm going to scroll back down and select the recommended version again, because that version is usually guaranteed to be the latest version that has the least bugs and best performance. In other words, it's the most stable and up-to-date version. However, you may need to pick a version that's newer than the recommended due to one of your installed mods requiring it. Now when you launch the game, it should start up successfully. Next I want to cover how to update your mods if they have an update. Minecraft version 1.16.5 got released between now and the time I recorded Lesson 1, so we first need to check and make sure that Computercraft has been updated to the new version of Minecraft. Before I download this, I'm going into my loader mods and I'm disabling the old versions of the mods. To do this, just click the check mark next to the mod names. I don't want to delete the old mods just yet, because I want to make sure the game works with the new ones. When you download the new version, you save it to the same folder as the old version. When you're looking at the mod file downloads, you can use this drop down box to select only files for a specific version of Minecraft. I am pretty convinced that Not Enough Items has probably been abandoned at this point. It's a shame because it's the same thing that happened to too many items. Feel free to look up what that mod was. Next go back to version, select Minecraft and click change version. I'm going to select 1.16.5 because that's the one I'm going to use and click OK. Next select forge and click change version. As you can see, there is no recommended version of Forge here. That's because there is not yet a version that the Forge devs consider stable. All of these versions of Forge here will work, but be aware that if you use an unstable version, you may be met with bugs and undesirable game performance. I am personally not too fussed about it, so I'll just load the latest version available. Now when I launch the game, I get this new error. Mod FTBGY library requires architectury 1.1.53 or above. Currently, architectury is not installed. The reason I get this message is because I have just enough items installed. If I were to use just enough items by itself, I wouldn't get any message. But certain features wouldn't work without the mod called FTBGY library. I need to install that, but. This new version of the GUI library is now dependent on yet another mod. Very annoying having so many dependencies, but it can't be helped I guess. To find the mod, go back to the download page for FTP GUI library, and click on the Relations tab. Assuming the mod owner didn't mess something up, the mod you need, in this case Architectury, will be listed under Dependencies. And now that I'm sure that my Minecraft instance works, I'm going to go ahead and delete the older mod files. One final note before I let you all go. When you're downloading mods for Minecraft, I recommend only getting them from either CurseForge.com or the Minecraft forums. If you get mods from anywhere else, you run the risk of downloading a virus. And these two are locations I trust almost completely because they're moderated. Although, if you're going through the Minecraft forums, I still recommend reading what people are saying about whatever mod is posted to make sure you're getting something that is good quality. Same goes for CurseForge. In any case, CurseForge is the best source for Minecraft mods currently. If you play a mod pack, most of this stuff is taken care of for you, but you may be getting mods that you don't want. As I mentioned before, mod packs are instances of Minecraft that come with a bunch of mods installed already. Feed the Beast and AT Launcher are good sources for mod packs, and CurseForge has some too. That's it for this lesson, thank you all for watching. This video wasn't originally in my lesson plan, but I realized it was something important I needed to go over. Complete oversight on my part. Lesson 1 was way longer than intended anyway, so it's probably for the best that this was separate. I hope this helped answer any questions you might have had from Lesson 1, and I'll see you all next week!